Now yeah, sit in a corner in this shop. Oh, bless her. There she is. We're in it, so we're in a, a very different location to last time. So we're wrapping a different bike this time. We're wrapping my mountain bike. And this is kind of showing, the reason why we're doing this is because mountain bikes get abused a lot. And it's matte, so we're gonna do a matte one. And the other thing is just showing that with ride wrap, you can literally wrap any bike you want. Anything. Anything? Anything. So long as it's current model, or we have a kit available already. But there's options if you don't. There is. We have a fantastic range of universal products. Head to ridewrap.com to find them all. Um, but yeah, so today, mountain bike. And forks. And forks, and forks as well. I went really high pitch then. Yeah. And forks. It's a little bit wobbly at the moment. Me. It's had a hard life. Is that why um, there's this? Yeah, there's really a big strap around it. So if there's any welders out there who want to volunteer their services, um, I'm sure Gay would be highly appreciative. Although you don't have your strap on today. <laughs> <laughs> you can order a kit yeah. and you'll send it exactly. to whoever yeah. may so need one. To all of our kits, so we have thousands, thousands of kits available, yeah. thousands of bikes, um, and they're all print on demand. That's right? amazing. So we have production facilities dotted all around the globe. Yeah. And yeah, so the customer will buy it, they'll get a lovely box. Blah. But you don't get Gail. Like, so you, do you don't get to visit Gail. No, you don't. But you still get the wrap. This is the bonus, is we get to visit Gail. You get to hang out with exactly. Gail, yeah, that's fair enough. So all of our kits um, come boxes, packaged like this, instructions on the inside of the box. So super easy for, you know, customer at home who wants to give it a go themselves. Yeah. If they don't, they can utilize any one of our in-store facilities. Um, inside the box, you get your toolkit, which we saw last week. Yeah. And you get the kit itself, right? So all the pieces on there, numbered, nice and easy for oh, you to see. Exactly. We would, this is what we were talking about last time, is the fact that it's all coloured. Exactly. Really cool. And then you get a lovely little diagram showing you exactly where the pieces go. QR code to video links, if you would like. some bits. Do you, do you know your saddle height? I don't know. Okay. I know a lot of people clamp the uh, the shaft. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm so nervous about doing it. Always in. Where would you rather clamp over the shaft? <laughs> uh, all of our kits are designed. I went through this with the, the last few years of the trip. But all of our kits are designed with the home installer in mind. Okay. All right. So what that means is the only pieces you should need to remove from the bike are wheels and your yeah. removable guards, bottle cages saddle bags and the chain. That's the top tube bag. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're the only things that should have to come off the bike. And then because you've ridden this one a little bit before, I'm gonna give it I a rode it here, mate, sorry. A good clean. All oh, right, okay. Because we get that right in it's there. A boogie. It's a it is a, it a road a, boogie. It's a bike boogie. Yeah, okay. Um, Allen key in there. So it's so that you can mount the tail fin arch on. Uh, so I rode, I had it on the bike when I rode down. They thought of everything. Uh, clever you? people, clever <laughs> people. So you're nicking my chain now, you dicked around my saddle. Yeah. You're taking the chain off. Yeah, you could have cleaned it for me before you Mate, came. I rode the bike here. <laughs> so we're gonna give it a good clean, make sure it's nice and, and, and spotless, really. Um, it's gonna have a bit of dust and gripe on it, right? It is, it is. And because of the matte finish, you see it tends to hold dirt and grease just a little bit more. Give it a wipe and it still stays in there. Mm. Best thing about the ride wrap with the uh, hydrophobic and, and stain proof coating over the top. Mm. Is it cleaning this from now on? It's going to be super, super Is easy. It hydrophobic? It's hydrophobic, yeah. That's hydrophobic, really cool. self healing, and That's we give you—we really cool. give you uh, ten years warranty against yellowing and cracking. What does hydrophobic mean? It means it is very, very scared of water. <laughs> it's a hydrophobia. That's it, I think. I'll, I'll help. That's it. <laughs> Just so that you can see what my top tube cap says. This film. I don't care what anybody says. Best Christmas film. I agree with you, it's the yeah. best Christmas film. Is this alcohol? This is alcohol. I can, I can bloody smell it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get the, um, extra the, strong? the extra strong cleaner out because as you can see. It's extra good. So this is the, the thing when we first talked about doing this frame is as a matte paint job, it just holds these little, little things, doobie, yeah, doobie yeah. dots. I'm know. not sure if I explained this last time. The reason for that is that if you were to, it's just a way the kind of the matte coating or clear coat on top of the, the bike goes on. Um, for a gloss clear coat, it goes on as a, as a lacquer mm. and it's polished like 
within it, uh, you know, an inch of its life, if you like. Very highly polished. Um, oh, sorry, the what, alcohol smell yeah. is so strong. <laughs> which is what creates that kind of shine, if you like. Um, they do a similar thing with a with a matte finish, although they put a matte clear coat over the top, which is, as you can feel, is really rough, right? It's got a bit of texture. Yeah, it's got a bit of texture to We it. have to re-clean that now, because it's got your... Yeah. <laughs> I touched a bit you didn't clean. Sorry. So, so what you're looking at with, uh, with a matte, if you were to look at a matte finish underneath a microscope, you'll see it, it's going to look like sandpaper. Like and lots porous. of little... Yeah, exactly. Lots of little pits and divots for like water, grime, just nasty bits to sit. Whereas yeah. if you look at a matte finish, a uh, gloss finish, so this yeah, not that one. one here, <laughs> it, it's very highly polished and you know super, super smooth. It's almost like glass, right? Which is why it's a little bit easier to keep clean. What about a satin finish? Because that's like in the middle, right? Yeah, it is, it is. Um, it's just a slightly more polished matte finish. At yeah, the end, okay. Right? So it's still gonna have those little pits and divots and, and whatnot. Now, if, so, you had a, if you had a satin finished bike, would you wrap it in matte or? Gloss. Ooh, See, the best thing about Ride Wrap, and especially our tailored kits for, for carbon bikes, because there's no weld and because of the amount of coverage we offer, um, you can quite easily do like a finish swap. So if you, for instance, wanted to do gloss on this bike, mm. super, super easy, just buy a gloss kit rather than a mat. Um, we, what we tend to say though, in answer to your question is, stick to, the, stick to the, the factory finish of your bike. So if you've got a mat or a satin bike, stick to the matte finish. Mm. If you've got a gloss one, go gloss. But if you don't want to, do what you want. Exactly. You're getting the strong stuff. I'm gonna get the super cleaner out. Please, can you not take the Cervelo logo off? I we need that sticker. I'll try stay. my best. Thank you. Tricky one with Fox Forks though, right? Because their logos are always stickered on. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can get around it. It just leaves what we call like a little halo over the top of the, the decal. Makes sense. Kind of a little, these ones That's... are quite thin though, so you probably won't see it too much. As you can see, we've taken off chain, wheels, bottle gauges, anything like bag wise on it. Yeah. And now it's lovely and clean. clean. And now we can stick now we some... start with protection. Wrap before ride. What, what's your favorite wrap song? A bit of a chicken Caesar guy. Chicken Caesar salad? Yeah, chicken Caesar wrap. So these little scuff marks may be hard to see in the light, but what's really cool about ride wrap is if you have ridden your bike a couple of times, um, putting the film over the top of it is almost going to give it a new clear coat. Mm. Um, so they should hopefully disappear. It's a little one there. Yeah. Watch this space. And it's a mountain bike and mountain bikes get abused. That, that was why I wanted to wrap it. Having someone that's done this several, have you ever done one of these ones? I have done one actually, yeah. So you, you know what this one's like to do? I do, yeah. Is it hard? No. <laughs> None is of them it? are hard. They just require a little bit of patience. Brandon is in London, in Kingston, in Cycle Exchange, and he can help you do your bike you can. quite easily. If you do want to have a go do it yourself, by all means. If you don't and decide that you want, you know, a professional, don't mind me, to, uh, to install the kit for you, then bring it down, give us a call. We are more than happy to help. What's your favorite part of a bike, Chris? What's my favorite part of this bike? Yeah. My favorite part of this bike is this little spot right here. So something I asked a little bit on the last video is like what we're spraying the pieces with. Yeah. So essentially it is soap and water. We got a lovely ride wrap installation solution, install solution concentrate, you should know this. And we mix this with clean water to make the install go a little bit smoother. So what the, what the solution does is delays the adhesion process on the back of the film. It allows us to reposition, to squeegee easier, etc. So, so something I didn't realize then. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this is sticky on the back of it. Yes. And, and this just, as you say, just slows it down. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then when it dries out, it's stuck. Okay, okay, I did not realize that. Yeah, so what that does, so that allows us to squeeze all the bubbles out to get a nice clean finish to slide things around, reposition, etc. Um, and then touching back on our difference in finishes, so matte finish, gloss finish, um, we need to do make up different solutions for each of those finishes. Interesting. So because, like we said before, a gloss finish is more highly polished, it means it's more tacky. Right, or have more of a tackier surface. Mm -hmm. So we use a little bit more solution. Whereas a matte surface, lots of pores, lots of you know, places for air water to, to sit, we use a little bit less. Okay, so my rule of thumb is, and this varies depending on who you are, how sticky you like it, um, what, <laughs> what, what solution, you know, what water right. you're using. Just, you know, yeah. calm down. <laughs> um, but for a, for a matte frame, I'll say one to two drops. And one to two drops of that? Yeah. 
Oh wow. For a glass frame, two to three. It's quite hard to package two drops. What I do is I just snip the corner off the packet, nice and easy. Fold it over, and you get a little squeeze, and that's a drop. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one drop. If you find, so start your install, if you find that it is too sticky and you're getting lots of bubbles everywhere, um, just add another drop to your solution or to your water and it, you know, it'll probably end up a little bit easier for you. If you find the opposite and the pieces aren't sticking down, um, tip your water out, start again, use one less drop and then go from there. I mean, the most important rule about uh, installing any ride wrap, and I told this last week, the wetter, the better. <laughs> Start at the back, same as last time. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this is from? You not cleaning your bike properly. You can hardly see it again. That's I was amazing. I was unsure what I was. Oh, it's a nice bike. I was unsure about what I thought about like how the mat would work because I think the gloss to, in my head. I'm going to say this because it's just being honest. Yeah. In my head, the gloss is you know you protect the frame, makes complete sense. You only really get gloss or gloss. The mat there's varying levels of matness. Oh, yeah. So. I wasn't sure how this was going to work, but actually the mat is very, very close to the mat at the frame. So you, it, it's seamless again, which is great. I'm a, I'm a big mat guy. I've got a, uh, I've got a gloss bike and I, well, finished swap, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um, so it's now mat. I've actually, my, my road bikes are split finish as well. And I've opted for mat. The best thing about ride wrap, guys, is if you do have a bike that we don't have a kit for available on the website, so long as it is uh, a current model, bring it to us at the shop here in Kingston. We'll measure it up for you. We'll make a kit. Simple as that. And how long does that take to get a kit ready? So it takes. So you have to leave the bike with us for about a day just to take all the measurements, or half a day. And then in terms of the actual design of the pieces, it really depends on what our our design time is, is looking like and, and what the demand is. Coming into summer, imagine everyone buying new bikes, they want new kits. So our designers are flat now. Mm. So at the moment, it's probably about two to three weeks. It's not that bad though. No, it's pretty good considering that, you know, it's completely new design, right? But yeah, kind of normal timings, I'd say kind of kind of a week, something like that. That's pretty good, really. Yeah. So and, and when you say, so you say current generation bike, you mean things that are something? for sale, now. Yeah, exactly. Nothing has been discontinued yet. If you have already done it, it's fine. Yeah, if and we've then, already got the kit available, it's on the website, go for it. But there's also, there is a, you know, you've got thousands and thousands on there. So there are previous versions of bikes like that, potentially, yeah, that sure. you will have on there anyway. Yeah. You're never getting rid of any. No, no, exactly. We'll never, we will never um, like discontinue one from our website. Um, it's just, we, we won't develop new kits for, just doesn't make sense, right? The bike's not from sale anymore. People aren't buying new ones. Therefore, we can't, you know, sustain our design time. If you have a bike, like a custom bike, whatever it is, there are other options of, of different price exactly. points and different exactly. wrapping techniques you can do. Exactly. So, so if we, you have a fully custom bike, yeah. assuming that you have one, what would you do with a fully custom bike? So we have um, a, a whole range of universal series products. We call them our collective series. Yeah. So it includes the, uh, the covered and essential kits. Um, and we make those in a few different genres. So um, by genre, I mean we make a road bike, we make a mountain bike. Where in, when, with a mountain bike, we make a dual suspension and a hardtail. Um, with a, we do a gravel, we do an e-bike, we do a steel frame. Um, and basically through the difference of all the pieces, or difference between the kits are, um, the pieces are gonna change in terms of their shape and geometry to match the shape and geometry of that style of bike. So what about, uh, what about different bike construction so let's say you have a raw titanium bike does this i mean probably yeah. you know so it's it really probably depends on there are some finishes of and well bike finishes actually there's only one like an anodized finish a rough anodized finish there's not many bikes around um but unfortunately the film doesn't stick to it mm. it's, a, it's a really rough texture and it makes it really hard you do get some cases where it will stick but sometimes it wasn't everything else um but raw carbon painted alloy painted steel um raw steel raw titanium no fun at all. But basically, you're saying if you're doing a light mm -hmm. bike, mm. wear a light colored t shirt. Yeah. Well, because like, you don't notice it, but like little fibers fly off the t shirt all the time. Given you know, when you stand in the sunlight, it shreds up. Yeah. <laughs>
What did you just do? You just took a piece off and then yeah, re-added it. I wasn't on. happy with the alignment of the head shoe piece. So I just peeled it off, which is fantastically easy to do. And I can have another go at aligning it. All right, and then I should have a nice uniform three more join on this side. So frame's done, frame it looks done. amazing. You can hardly, again, really can hardly see it. I was gonna film like an after, because earlier I was like, I wait for the before and after, but it's, I told you, it's, it's the so same. clean, there is no after. Yeah. It's really good. Frame's done, we're now gonna do the forks as well, mm -hmm. which are, are as well are covered in crap. So we're wrapping the forks. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is done, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The fox always, the, the logos on fox forks are stickers. Mm. So it, you can see here with the, I don't know if you can even see it, with the wrap over the top, you do get a little bit of, I don't know what we call it, shadows, ghosting? We call, call it halo. Okay, halo sounds better. Yeah. But it's so minimal, right? Yeah, no, you don't notice it. And by the time, once the, uh, once the film dries out a little bit, if you go over the top of it with a bit of a heat gun. It's even tighter to it. Yeah, it goes even tighter, yeah. Done, yeah, done. Right. We've wrapped another bike, success. I say we. We. You've wrapped another bike. I mean, bike. you've been great support. <laughs> Thank you. Cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> Stickers are bait again. Yeah. So black, invisible, silver. <laughs> yeah, it's white. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's got to be white, isn't it? Right. The logos are kind of off-white, so I think the white will work really well. Back of the Airbnb now, and you can tell by my crazy hair. It's been a bit of a eventful ride back, to say the least. Um, Got a flat tire, so now my job is to fix that and pump it up a bit. But I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you so much to Brandon for again helping out wrapping the bike. Please go check out what he's doing with Ride Wrap. It's such a good product, and Brandon is just a you know lovely human as I hope is coming across in these videos. He's a good mate, and you know really trying to help people protect their bikes. Um, also, thank you for both for organising the ride today this morning and just for hanging out. It's really cool to hang out and uh, Bo is someone I've not uh, seen for quite a long time. If you don't follow either of them, Instagram handle for Bo is Dad Bob Cyclist and for Ride Wrap is at Ride Wrap. So yeah, I just got back. It's a handy little, very lovely Schwabi SOS pump to fix this uh, flatty. I think basically I was just trying to have a bit of fun, bounce around from curves and might have just hit it a bit funny. Um, so yeah, don't be a kid, apparently, on bikes. Um, thanks for watching this video. Kind of feels a bit nostalgic, like being back in London, doing a bit of a vloggy kind of thing, like what Francis used to do, but actually did it myself on a bit of a ride around. It's kind of, this has been a bit of a weird trip and slime, kind of like, yeah, nostalgic, I think is the right way to think about it. Um, I'm supposed to be going out for dinner now in Soho. Shit.